What's up, y'all? We are going to touch briefly on dust cups for deadbolts and door locks. I talked about this briefly in the day video that I just put out, and uh, before that, I would shown a picture on Twitter uh, of me having put a dust cup in a door, and uh, there's been a few questions about it, so I wanted to do its own video and talk about dust cups for door locks. Should you use them? Should you not? What are they? What do they do? Etc. All right, I'm gonna go through this pretty quick because honestly, the only thing dust cups do is keep the monsters from grabbing your latch when it goes in the door frame and catching it and not letting it go. Or they're simply a dust cup to keep debris from getting your bolt dirty. In theory, if stuff drops down like insulation or just drywall dust, and coats the bolt and when you pull it in that would transfer the debris into it that's why they're called dust cups they go behind the strike plate and uh, basically shield it they kind of have a twofold purpose one as in this picture that i'm going to put up right here is they provide a finished appearance to your installation now typically if you drill through the thin part of the door there's gonna it's gonna break through and there's gonna be an opening and uh, it, it basically, it provides, instead of just seeing like bare wood, uh, you would just see this nice flush look to it. And uh, that is really all it does. There's, there's no monsters behind your, your thing, but there are tons of different ones. Uh, metal is what they originally were back in the day. These are all schlage, all these metal ones. And then you can see there are two different heights, obviously. One is for a deadbolt because the deadbolt sticks out one inch and it has to be deep enough and the shallower ones are for door locks spring latches that go in they all serve the same purpose there are some big ones that baldwin had again baldwin a long time ago with mortise locks which we're going to talk about over here uh, they have uh, they went from metal to plastic so and and often nowadays a lot of locks even schlage we're going to look at some older schlage and some brand new schlage uh, i've got to sort all these because they're kind of getting out of control and i got to take these plastic ones out of here so we're going to set this aside for right now so that we can just talk about the differences in dust cups how they were used, what they came with. We'll start off with this older Schlage deadbolt. This is kind of pretty much the most common one that you would have found that had a dust cup. Now Schlage does on their boxes, they do have these different numbers. This Strike 10057, it's gonna be what's in here. Then if we look at these newer versions, the B60 ends, they come with a 290 10.092 strike round corner and then even a 10116, all different numbers. I don't really ever care about product numbers because I'm not a you know, distributor, but we'll look at the original ones that came with the metal plate, which would, I guess would have been the 10057. So we see it comes with this strike package that has the heavy duty screws and the dust cup. And then if we look, we look in here, there's probably a strike plate. I don't know if there is or not. Let's see. Let's see. Any, is, there a, is there a strike plate in the house? Uh, there is not. Let me go grab one that would have fit this real quick. So the first and most important thing with just regular strike plates, this, these all come in boxes now. In fact, they're actually much smaller in most of them, is to work with the dust cups. You have some that have this, I guess, convex, or concave, convex, I guess, sticking out. You know, it kind of sticks out. And then you had some strike plates that came with these that do not. They have this flat surface. And these two, while they look exactly alike, that makes a big difference, especially if you're going to be using one of these metal backer plates and a high security strike, because otherwise, the convex edge there would make it sit up wouldn't make it it would not allow it to sit flush how it needs to be whereas these where it were ground down obviously would sit flush on there so that's two differences in the actual plates itself uh, when these originally came they came with the high security strike 
screws here, three inch. I think these are number 12 screws. Uh, and the metal backer plate, which is considerably thicker than a regular strike plate. So how these were intended to be put in uh, would be you, you have to mortise out a really deep, and this is one reason why these aren't as popular because you do have to mortise out a really deep thing. Now, just notice this is actually not a Schley. Yeah, this is a Schley, hold on. There is some slight differences here. Okay, we're gonna talk about a little bit of a difference in how those are put in. So basically you would have your screw and see this is, this is not the one that I'm looking for. Uh, let me go grab, was it in here? It was in here, wasn't it? Let me go grab a backer plate. Uh, uh, be right back. We can see kind of the new style. I've got a new style one. Uh, oh, that's an old style too. Let me see the difference there. So this would be a Schlag, an older Schlag, and then this would be a newer Schlag, older, newer. I'm not sure which one's which. Uh, but there is a difference because we can see the countersink, which is important for it to lay flat, will countersink down with these thick screws perfectly. And if we try to use these in this one, let's see how it sticks up. So that's one little trick to these is you gotta kinda have the right plate. Uh, and basically how it went on the door was you mortised out a pretty thick area. You put your screws in. On the frame side, it even has a convenient door stop side. So you're going into the frame because the what should be behind the frame is a uh, two by four, two by six, or whatever the case is, that this is sinking down into to provide a lot more kick resistance. Uh, then you would come in with your dust cup, metal or plastic, and you'd set it down in there just like that. Um, before you did this though, like this one got bent in transit, so you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna bend it out so that it's spread open as far as possible, and then stick it in. And that's kind of important, especially if you have uh, shifting areas, you want those to be spread open as far as possible. And then you get your flat back plate, and you use the short screws that come with locks, which would be, uh, everybody knows what the short screws look like. The short screws go in right there. So that is basically, this turns into just a finished plate. This is your security and your security plate with a dust cup. And when you look in, you would see that as we showed in that picture earlier. Nowadays, you know, unfortunately, home construction is vastly different than it used to be, kind of back in the day and uh, it's not really possible to do that. In fact, most locks nowadays come with this style deadbolt strike, almost all of them do. It looks like a latch plate. It's the same exact dimensions as what you would use for your doorknob. However, it does not have that little tab that sticks off the inside. Let me grab one of those and I'll show you. Um, this is what typically comes with your doorknob. It's got the lip and same exact size deadbolt, but it does not have that lip. Now, uh, one more thing while I'm talking about it, this little lip right here, a lot of people will say, and even a lot of locksmiths on an unnamed website will say, oh, you're supposed to take that lip and bend it if your door is not, that's, a, that's an adjustment tab. No, it's, it's not an adjustment tab. What that does is when you close the door, this is called the dead latch in a strike or in a latch. With this push down, you're not able to use a credit card and use it. Now, this is supposed to sit just like that, pushing that dead latch in so that you cannot use a credit card to open it. And again, a lot of homes now have really thick rubber weather stripping. So what happens is when you slam the door, the whole thing goes in just like that. And it pretty much null and voids. Home construction, how they're built nowadays is really, 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 really difficult to make that sit correctly without it, you know, falling in just because doors can, just the thick rubber that they use now for the, the exterior weather stripping allows that door to smoosh in and out kind of. But the deadbolts themselves, uh, those, you know, that, that doesn't have the strike. That's what comes with most locks nowadays. If not, it comes with just this little deadbolt without the lip. 
and it looks just like that, which is actually smaller than these styles. So without the lip, they come either way. Either they'll have a lip or they'll be just like that. Uh, and it's, it's just smaller. Horrible, both of them are horrible. Unfortunately, that's just the way of the world. But again, just to point it out, that lip is not meant to be bent. If you bend that lip to make it fit, when you close the door, instead of it having this uh, smooth, flat surface to push in the bolt, see when it, when it, this keeps it from, uh, you know, kind of binding up on the wood or whatever, that if you bend it at an angle, what would happen would be basically is it would allow it to, to open back up by just pulling it because there's a ramp. It provides a ramp. If you bend it at an angle, it, it makes this ramp. So it's not as secure there either. That is not what it's for. This is meant to just stay just like that. If your lock is not catching right, you have to simply move the latch back and forth, which probably means you got to mortise it. Uh, and uh, also I will point out here, nowadays the uh, 10, what is this, 10 one strike actually still does come with some Schlage deadbolts minus the dust cup. And uh, it comes with these round corner strike plates. There's our, still comes with the screws and the security strike. However, the screws are a little bit different. They have a little bit of different uh, head shape to sink down. And the other thing is, if we hold a new one up to an old one, look at the difference. Look how big it is. So if your lock did not come with the strike plate, and, and I, I, I hate that that, because we have so much here in Mississippi, we have so much shifting foundation, that kind of gives you limited clearance. However, if we take a dust cup, we can see it does not fit in there. So if you were gonna put a dust cup in this, you probably would have to do it behind. And also drill your holes through the plastic. They're not really made to be mounted like that. Uh, Baldwin also comes with uh, some of these plastic ones, and we can tell the Baldwin ones, here we go, because it has three holes in it instead of two holes. So that would be Schlage, this would be Baldwin. Baldwin's plates are a little bit different. I don't have one up here uh, for their regular deadbolts and, you know, sometimes m -tech, stuff like that. Uh, but with mortise lock, Baldwin mortise locks, it has the same exact thing. We can uh, see it has this backer plate. And if we open it up, we can see it comes with screws and uh, this three. No, oh, no. So three holes. So basically on this particular one, it would be mounted behind it. We've already got our holes drilled there in the plastic or punched in the plastic, I should say. And then this goes on top. So a little bit different installation. Uh, again, Baldwin did make some metal versions of that, like this right here, but that is real, real old. You're not going to see any metal dust cups coming with any locks nowadays. Uh, and again, the worst thing about all of this is you do have to, you do have to mortise out this, which is pretty thick. That's almost, that's probably quarter inch right there. And uh, compared to that, which is a lot less mortising, which is cutting out the wood, so this will fit flush. Uh, and that can be definitely a problem with, again, new installations, because a lot of these houses, there's only about this much in the trim of the door that you drill through. So if you take out a lot of that by putting in, by, by mortising this much out, you're taking away half the wood. That's number one reason why it's just a bad idea sometimes to put these in. So it's kind of an iffy thing. A lot of older houses, I still do that. And then we can also see back in the day, day, they would come dust cup already mounted. Look at that, already attached to it. So you saw this a lot back in the 50s, 60s, already ready to just put in in one piece. Um, but again, nowadays, if you don't have a dust cup, if the dust cup didn't come with your lock, it may just not be ideal to try to use it. And obviously when they come with this kind of deadbolt plate, the dust cup would not work anyway because it's bigger. 
So anyway, I think I covered everything on that. Maybe a whole lot of other little minor details that I missed. If I did, I'll go back when I'm editing it and put it in as a footnote. However, that is it about dust cups. In case anybody was wondering what dust cups are used for, that is it. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments, as always, post them in the comments section.